Denise Christensen, and I'm a member of Hemet Christian Assembly for 20 years now. And uh, I want to give you some scripture that we're going to work on, and it's Psalm 56, verse 3 and 4. But when I am afraid, I put my trust in you, O God. I praise your word. I trust in God, so why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do to me? And this applies to me and my family because there was a time when my husband and I could have been very fearful, um, but we put our trust in God as his word tells us. In 1982, my husband was in the Marine Corps and he was on active duty when we got orders to Japan. So we were able to go as a family for four years and we started working on adoption when we got there, but it took two years to get um, on a program. But So two years into the, the tour, we were able to adopt a newborn Japanese baby boy who was really precious, and he was only five pounds, little spiky hair, and that was in 1984, and his name is Kiyoshi. He's now in his 30s. And uh, after we got them, it's kind of the reverse of what goes on in America because you do the paperwork after you get the child, which is kind of strange. But anyway, so we had to do a lot of paperwork. And then in 1986, we got orders to leave Japan because we'd been there for four years. And so we had to get out of the country by a certain date. So at the time that the orders came in, we still didn't have a clearance for our son to leave the country, which could have been a very, very big worry. But we just kept praying and trusting the Lord. We got ready for our trip. Uh, we had our two daughters and Kiyoshi, and we got our passports, we scheduled our flight, and just had to wait for our departure day. So when that day came and everybody in our church was saying, what are you going to do? What are you going to do if you don't have his paperwork and he can't leave the country? I'm like, well, I don't know, but we're going to trust the Lord. So the day of our departure, we had to take a train to go up to Tokyo to the embassy. And we got there. And um, there's many, many people there. So we checked in and after about 20, only 20 minutes, a representative came out and he called my husband's name and he had to swear an oath uh, about taking Kiyoshi and all that out of the country and taking good care of him and everything. And unbeknownst to us, all of our paperwork had accumulated in Tokyo. Another a Japanese lady was working on it, but um, we didn't know that. So anyway, he was released, praise the Lord, and God is good.